Hey, welcome back to another RC Worst video. Today we're back with another tip to help save you some money. Uh, this tip today is mostly oriented towards submersible well pump owners, but this could actually apply in any situation where you're dealing with cable that is submersed. And what we're going to try to show you today, we've got our Mager again today, this is the second time we've used this in our videos. Um, and what we're going to do is show you how to test the wire while it's submersed. So the important thing to remember here is if you do have a submersible well pump. You want to do this before you actually pull the pump out of the well uh, because it requires the wire to be submersed so if you're doing it while it's in the well you're going to get good results and don't have to worry about finding another way to submerge the cable later. Uh, but if it's an afterthought uh, and you've already got the wire out and want to test it because you're considering reusing it, you can just submerge the uh, water in any or submerge the cable in any type of water or any body of water, a large bucket, a trash can, a pond, um, whatever you've got available as long as you can get the wire fully submersed. Uh, it should work pretty well for you. So what we're going to be doing is putting some voltage through the wire and then um, we're going to put one of our leads in the water and then if it's able to pick up any of the resistance um, then we're going to know that we've got a problem. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started here, I just wanted to show you a few things. We do have the wire completely submersed here. We have both ends coming up out of the water. Um, so, so this end, of course, we stripped because we're going to put the tester on here. Um, so what we've got is the megometer, megometer set to, we're doing 1,000 uh, volts right now because that's really going to allow us to see those leaks a lot better. So first I'll just dip it in the water and show you what we'll get if we were to have bad wire. So we're going to get no resistance whatsoever because we have the other end of the meter just suspended down in the pond or in the water here. Um, so if we were to touch any one of these leads and do this test, we know that if we're getting a really low number, then the voltage is leaking through and we're not getting much resistance. Now, um, when you're testing wire, you're typically looking for at least, let's say, 2 million ohms or 2 meg ohms. Um, and that's usually with or without a motor attached. Uh, that's per Franklin Electric's uh, AIM manual, so you can refer to that if you have further questions. Or give us a shout, we're happy to answer those questions. But anyways, let's go ahead and test one of these. So we'll test the black here. And we get 660. So that's actually uh, 660 million ohms of resistance, so that is definitely perfect wire. 660 again on the yellow and 660 again on the red. So what I've just shown you is a wire test that we have perfectly good wire. Now, if I take my knife out and I cut some of this wire, which I'll do really quickly, I'm just gonna cut one of the strands, a small, small, razor thin slit, um, and then we're gonna test it again and see if, we can, if you can tell which one of the wires that I cut. Okay, so I went ahead and made my incision. <laughs> Anyway, um, so I cut one of the wires just a little bit below the water here uh, because then it has to go all the way through all these loops of cable before it gets almost to the end before the leak could get detected. So let's just go ahead and test the wires here. So we're getting the 660 again. And the 660 on this meter I just learned is um, actually the max, it's infinity basically. It doesn't go any higher than that. So if, if we could potentially be way higher than that, uh, but we just wouldn't be able to see it on this meter. So let's test this black one. And wouldn't you know it, we're getting a zero. Now the incision that I made, we'll pull this out of the water and I'll show you the cut that I made it was very small. Um, however, it was able to pick it up immediately. So you can see the value of being able to test the wire. So let's go ahead and pull this out. I'll show you the cut and we'll wrap it up. All right, so here we are. We got the wire out. Uh, and if you can't see it already on your screen, you're gonna have to look pretty close because it's a pretty small slit right here. So let me just spread it apart a little bit so you can see it just a little bit better. I'll quit messing with it so maybe the camera will focus on it. Quit moving. So that is a very, very, very small nick. I mean, just to give you some scale, um, not, not very big at all, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, uh, maybe just a little, a little more than an eighth of an inch long nick. And if you had this cut in, let's say, two, 300 feet of wire, you would never find that. You could spend two weeks looking for that and you wouldn't find that. 
So uh, even small holes, or even if it's not all the way through to the insulation, you can have problems with wire. Um, so testing the wire is the, is the big message today. All right, well, that's basically our video for today. We showed you how to test wire using a meg meter. Make sure that you remember to submerge the cable fully so that you can get a good effect on it. Um, interestingly enough, when it comes to submersible well pumps, your whole well may not be completely full of water. Um, so testing it while it's in the well is a good way to know whether the wire that's submersed could be affected and you could potentially live with damaged wire above the water level, interestingly enough. But anyways, that's a conversation for another day. We at least got this out of the way and showed you the value of being able to test your wire. It could potentially save you thousands of dollars from having to reinstall wire after new equipment's already been installed. So stay tuned for other money-saving tips and great product reviews and everything else that rcworst.com has to offer. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's the pager. That means it's time to go. We'll catch you next time.